This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to Life Hacker. Today's episode, we're going outdoors. We're going to be taking a look at giving your gadgets an anti glare finish, you can soothe bug bites with household items, do a do it yourself air conditioning system, save a drowned, soggy gadget, make a sun jar, and also put together an optimized workout playlist. And naturally, the downloads of the day. All right, let's get started. When you're outdoors and you're using your gadgets, whether it's an iPad or a laptop or whatever, it's going to get kind of uh, difficult to read because most things have glossy screens these days. Now, if you want to actually make that a bit easier on yourself, you can apply anti-glare film. You can buy this, and there are products like Kiyoki that make it easier to apply. But if you want to save some money, because it gets kind of expensive, you can actually go to your local craft store or hardware store and pick up vinyl covering. Vinyl covering is super, super cheap. You can get tons of it in a big roll, and you just cut it out in the shape of your gadget and cut out space for buttons or whatever, and you put it on top of your screen. You want to do this in a dust-free environment whenever possible because you don't want little pieces of dust getting stuck in there, and you need something kind of hard to push it on. Now, a credit card's fine for something like a smartphone if you're using an iPad or other tablet. Use that to just slide it on slowly and push those air bubbles out because you don't want to get any distortion when you're actually putting it on. So you've got a nice, smooth, matte finish. Um, and this will keep the glare off. It's not going to help if uh, your backlit screen isn't bright enough, but it will at least keep you from seeing yourself rather than your screen when you're out and about doing your work outside. The weather outside is great, which means you get to spend a lot more time outside. It's also great until you come home with a lot of mosquito bites, which are really annoying. Uh, if you don't have any sort of itch relief cream on hand in your house, you can actually use something that you do on, have on hand, which is, of course, toothpaste. Uh, a mint toothpaste works really well to relieve those itchy mosquito bites, and according to website Granny Med, the reason for this is the menthol in the mint, in the peppermint. And that menthol works as a local anesthetic, uh, which sort of relieves that itch. And then you also get the cooling effects of the toothpaste, which also helps sort of relax the itch and make things a little less annoying and gets rid of that itchy pain. So uh, next time you're in a pinch, grab the toothpaste and hopefully it will do the job for your itchy mosquito bite. Hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open. Audible is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. With a library of over 75,000 titles to choose from, you'll always have something new to listen to. There's books from virtually every genre, including science fiction, business, history, and more, to be downloaded to your smartphone or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Best of all, you can download a free audiobook of your choice when you sign up right now at audiblepodcast.com slash lifehacker. You'll be supporting the show and gain a free audiobook of your choice. So go sign up at audiblepodcast.com slash lifehacker. And now, it's showtime. Well, summer's here and it is already scorching hot outside. You could run your air conditioner for the rest of the summer, but you would probably rack up a lot in your energy bills. If you're looking to spend a little bit less money, luckily there are some do-it-yourself alternatives that will help keep your home a little cooler. One popular option is to cool the air blowing from a fan by just putting a bucket of ice cold water in front of it. Similarly, you can hang a sheet over an open window, spray it with a little bit of cold water, and let that cool the breeze coming through your window. All in all, it won't cool your house as much as, say, an air conditioner might, but it should help bring the temperature down a few degrees, which will help keep you noticeably cooler. Hit the link to check out more info on Lifehacker. 
summer's upon us, which means that a lot more of us are spending time around pools, around water to try and stay cool. That also means an uptick in soggy gadgets and cell phones. Uh, a lot of times you forget, you go into the water, your cell phone's wet, uh, it would seem that it's ruined. However, all is not lost. You can actually salvage a soggy cell phone with just a few things. All you need is some rice, your wet phone, and a little bit of time. So we've got a Peak here, which is an email-only device, but we found one other use for it. You gonna fix that? I sure can try. Seems to have been effectively ruined. So the way that we save it is, of course, get it out of the water as quickly as you possibly can, and then submerge it, not in water, but in rice. Um, the goal here is basically to extract the water from the inside as quickly as possible and that is what your rice is doing here. It's a dry, rice is very dry, it absorbs a lot of water. Um, so you put it in there and you give it some time. Uh, you know, potentially depending on how long it's been submerged, how wet it is, it could be as little as say like, I don't know, eight hours or something. I am very paranoid with this sort of thing. I would let it go for a couple of days at least and, and keep it in a warm, dry place. Uh, by the time that time is over, pull it out, plug it in, and see if you can start it up. I've actually done this in the past and it worked for me. Uh, several life hacker readers have also reported good results, so if this happens to you this summer, uh, take it out, put it in rice, and cross your fingers. Good luck. Sun jars are mason jars with a solar light inside and a frosted glow. They look great on a warm summer evening. You're usually going to pay about 30 bucks for each unless you make them yourself. Gather up some standard canning mason jars, then buy the cheapest LED powered walkway lights you can find. I found some at Home Depot for 4 bucks each, but you can probably even get cheaper. Buy one light for each jar, then grab a can of spray-on glass frosting. Take apart the walkway lights and you'll see that they're basically a solar panel connected by wire to a battery container, and surrounded by a cheap aluminum housing you can easily cut away. To frost your mason jar, simply spray a few layers on each side and let it dry for about an hour. Don't frost the lid though, that's where the sunlight comes through. Attach your solar panel flush with the jar lid. You can get fancy with it, but I just use masking tape. Attach the battery compartment too, and make sure your LED light isn't blocked. Now you can make as many jars as you want that suck up sunlight by day and make any space a bit nicer by night. Lake Hacker, what's the best way to optimize my exercise music playlist? So if you're exercising and you want to build the ultimate playlist for your workout, the thing you want to do is get songs between 120 beats per minute and 140 beats per minute. And the reason for this is that's kind of the sweet spot for music that will motivate you to work harder and faster when you're exercising. So what you can do to figure this out is either use software that you can download on your computer to automatically calculate the beats per minute, or you can do it by just counting each uh, beat and measure for a specified number of times. If you want to figure out how to do either of these methods, you can go to the link at the bottom of your screen and we'll show you how to do that. Now, once you have your beats per minute, you just need to enter them in the tags on your music files and then you'll be able to use your music players, like iTunes for example, to sort based on the BPM. And the BPM, your beats per minute, will, uh, you just find the ones that are between 120 and 140, create a playlist with those songs and you'll have the ultimate workout playlist ready to go for the next time you're out exercising. You guessed it, it is the downloads of the day. Our selection today is very Google-centric. First we have Google Latitude, which uses your mobile phone to track your every move. This can actually be handy and not creepy if you're heading out to explore and you want people to be able to find you in case of emergency. Next we have Google Earth, which will let you explore the world from the safety of your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Last we have Google Sky Map for Android, which is pretty brilliant. You point the app at the sky and it maps out the constellations in the direction your Android phone is pointing. And that's it for Lifehacker. Enjoy your day in the sun. <laughs> <laughs>